Okay, good morning. Um, last week you became experts with the addition strategy doubles and doubles plus one. So today, um, earlier in the week, you learned about adding numbers to 10, so you can do that really quickly. And today, we're gonna use what you've learned to use that as an addition strategy. So today, we're gonna be talking about making a group of 10 to help us add quicker. So if you see nine plus something in your head, you're not gonna be thinking nine plus something. We're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to turn that into a 10 plus something fact. Or instead of eight plus something, you're gonna be able to turn it into a 10 plus something number fact to help you add even quicker. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now that you have had lots of practice adding numbers onto the number 10, so you can say 10 plus three, you know right away that that's 13. Um, you're gonna be able to use that to help you solve questions where the two numbers or one of the numbers is very close to 10. So when I look at nine plus four, now this not, I can't you really use doubles plus one because four and nine aren't close to each other on a number line. I guess I could put nine in my fist and count on four, but that takes a little long. So this is how I solve this. When I get addition problems, I make a group of 10 wherever I can because I love adding numbers to 10 because I find it easy. So I know that nine is really close to the number 10. Nine is only one less than 10. So if I had nine here, there's my nine, and I have four here, what I'm doing in my head, I'm making a group of 10 here. So I'm turning this nine into a 10, but I'm making it a 10 by grabbing one of the ones from over here. So I only need one to make a group of 10 because nine is close to 10. So I'm gonna take this guy right here, bring him over. Now I have my group of 10. So in my head, I've just changed my addition sentence to 10 plus, I don't have four anymore because I brought one over there. I have three. And now I can add 10 plus three really quickly. I know that 10 plus three is 13. So nine plus four is 13. And if I checked it with counting up, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here, if I did the same thing, now I don't always draw the dots. So what I'm doing here, I'm turning this nine into 10, okay? But it's not 10 plus seven anymore. It's 10 plus six, because I had to take one of those seven, one of those seven ones, and bring it over here to turn this into 10. So the number sentence I'm working with now is 10 plus six, and I know really quickly that equals 16. So let's try a couple of more. Now you don't always have to draw the dots, but let's just practice um, nine plus uh, five. Okay, well nine plus five, in my head I'm thinking 10 plus one less than five because I'm bringing one of those over here. 10 plus four equals 14, okay? And again, in your head, you're doing this really quickly, but what you're really doing is taking one of the ones here, bringing it over here to turn this into a 10, but you don't have five anymore, you have four. So let's do another one. Hmm, nine plus uh, eight. This one's really interesting, we'll talk about after in a second. Um, but if I'm using a group of 10, okay, nine's really close to 10, excellent. 10 plus, I took one away here, seven, 17. This one's really interesting because you could also, eight and nine are next to each other on a number line, you could also use in your head think, oh, I know eight plus eight, 16, one more is 17. So sometimes you can make a group of 10, sometimes you can use a double. This also works if you're two away. So for example, eight plus six, oh, that's a tricky one. I'm not really gonna use double, six and eight aren't next to each other on a number line, but I know eight is two smaller than 10. So if I turned eight to a group of 10, 
I would think 10 plus, not 10 plus six, not 10 plus five, it would be 10 plus four. Because to turn that eight into a 10, I needed to take two of these, leaving me with four. And I know that's 14. So that's why when you're adding numbers to 10, it's really easy. So if you can make a group of 10 somehow, um, make a group of 10, and then you'll be able to add on the other number um, pretty simply. So this is a little more challenging, so give it a go, and if we need to review it again next week, we will. Have fun.